with Ryan French, the great Monday Q. And Ryan, we've uh, talked a little bit about this over the last couple of weeks. I've seen a lot of your posts. Of course, the tragic story of Grayson Murray taking his own life. And uh, you've been very, very candid for those uh, in our audience who read Michael Bamberger's wonderful book, Ball in the Air. Your journey has been chronicled of your own struggle with mental health. I wonder where your thoughts have been over these last couple of weeks. Yeah, thanks, Jimmy. Um, you know, it, uh, Grayson's passing brought up a lot of a, a place I was in my life. Um, 15 years ago, I attempted to take my own life. I had no intention of living. Uh, luckily, the windows in Las Vegas don't open for that very reason. And um, I thought it was an important time to write it because, uh, you know, I think a lot of times in the golf world, in the world in general, we get uh, insulated and forget about these things. And I thought it would be a time after Grayson passed away that a lot of people are struggling and, and some people would listen. And, I'm, you know, it, it's embarrassing. It's uh, not something I'm obviously proud of, um, but I'm super glad I wrote it. I got countless messages from people who suicide affected their life in some way or were struggling themselves. And if I helped one person, then uh, it was worth it. Ryan, writing is, is hard. It's difficult endeavor. How difficult was it writing that call? Yeah, uh, I'd like to thank my editor. Uh, as people who follow me know, it's, it's my, my grammar in English is not great. But um, I, I didn't reread it, Damon. Uh, you know, I lived it, and it wasn't easy. It's not that much easier reliving it 15 years ago. I was in a pretty dark place. Um, and, and the biggest thing is, and I said in the article, is I don't know what Grayson was going through personally, but I know the helpless feeling of wanting to die. And that, that's scary. And that's why his, you know, his passing affected me just as a lot of suicides do, because I, I know what that moment feels like. And uh, it's horrible. It's dark. So, yeah, it was no fun writing. I didn't reread it. I won't reread it. And uh, thank you to my editor, because I'm sure it was kind of a mess. Ryan, one of the things that has always bothered me is that when people pass away, many, many people flock to say wonderful things about them. And my initial thought is always the same. Why can't we say nice things about people when they're here to hear them? So to that end, what can we do for people who are struggling with mental health? Yeah, I, I think, Jimmy, is we can all be kinder. We can all be understanding of it. And I, I think a lot of us get wrapped up in that mental health is somehow tied to what you're doing personally. You know, Grayson was on the PGA Tour and was wealthy and all of those things. And those things just don't have anything to do with mental health. You, Robin Williams and there's countless other people who have struggled with mental health issues that were quote unquote successful. Um, and we just need to be kinder uh, and we need to listen more. And, and Grayson's passing was a good lesson for me too. I, I reached out to some friends that I know I've struggled uh, and I should do that more often. I should listen. Uh, you know, I, I said in my pieces, I, I wish I would have spoke up earlier and all of us, it takes all of us to kind of be aware if people aren't right and not dismiss it and not just say, yeah, he's okay. Or I haven't heard from him in a week or whatever. Uh, it might be a cry for help. It was mine back then. No one missed anything. Cause I was, you know, telling everybody I was fine, but just be aware. Uh, and, and we all, you know, Harry Higgs nailed it right, is we all need to be kinder to each other. Amen. Ryan, we celebrated yesterday golf's longest day, the stories of underdogs, and you've spent so many of the last few years writing about the underdogs, caddying on mini tours with your father. What role did golf play in bringing you out of that dark place? Yeah, uh, golf saved my life 100%. Um, you know, after... After Vegas, I went home for a while, and um, my dad and I played golf a lot. I, I wasn't in a good spot, and uh, it was the only thing that kind of kept me going. And, um, you know, reading mini tour scores, the things I do now at that time, uh, yeah, really saved my life. And um, now I'm lucky enough to do it for a living. I have an amazing wife and family, and uh, I'm super blessed, and I'm very appreciative of the journey.
Ryan French, good advice. Be kinder and listen more. Monday Q, always a great read. Ryan, it's great to talk to you, and uh, thanks so much for stopping by and taking the time. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for the time.